It's the most wonderful time of the year. Not only are the holidays for sitting cozy by the fire, but there's extravagant events to attend and festivities to celebrate with friends. Today, Novus TV is teaming up with Robson Street to find out what to rock at these holiday parties. First stop, Banana Republic to see how to add some edge to our casual looks. Tell me, what can you wear that'll take you from day to night? Well, we all work during the day and we have a lot of holiday events that we've got to go to after work, so it's very important to choose very versatile pieces. So choosing work-appropriate layers is great, something that you can put on over top of your button-up shirt and then you can take off for later on in the evening or a structured blazer is always great and then you can take that off as well for later on. Perfect. And so what if you want to add a little bit of sparkle or edge to your look? Definitely, it's all about the accessories. So adding in some great jewelry pieces, a statement necklace, some bling up on the earrings, fancy ring. So really playing up the accessories and your shoes, footwear is very important. Now you're ready to celebrate the holidays in style and kick off the new year feeling confident. For more fashion inspiration, go to Robson Street's blog or follow online at Robson Street. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Michelle Morton. Running the distance or prefer short and intense sprints, it's important to warm up your body and stretch post-workout to avoid muscle strain. So today we're at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness Yale Town to meet owner and instructor Kate Marshall to learn prime stretches to avoid runner injury and to keep you on your feet. Can you first tell me why it's so important to warm up your body before you go running? Number one is injury prevention. So, um, you know, often people think of running as something that's low impact, but it truly is super high impact on the body, especially if you're doing long distance. So doing a dynamic stretch before you go on your run is super important to prevent any injury um, and any unnecessary tightness, getting that all out before so you can truly enjoy your run and get the most out of it. Okay, and how about after? Why is it so important to have that stretch in after? So same thing, that the repetition of those muscles, um, you know, whether it's pounding the pavement, um, if your back, you know, you might feel a little compression in your back, um, those muscles just are used in the same movement over and over and over again. So it's just very important after to stretch them out, really get that release, um, and then basically the day following, you're gonna be able to hit that run again 10 times harder versus feeling the, the soreness, um, all the stuff you would feel if you didn't stretch. It's common that runners have tight muscles. Can you tell me why? Um, so the biggest thing is the repetition of using those muscles. So when you're running, it's consistently, usually hitting pavement, da 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 So it basically causes those muscles to shorten, to become stronger, absolutely, but just shorten and become tight. So that's usually why you'll find those tight muscles. Kate kept me on my toes. I feel limber, energized, and ready to take flight more than ever. If you would like more information on Oxygen Yoga and Fitness Yale Town, go to the link below. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Michelle Morton. It's a new year, so a new you, right? Whether your goal is to simply hit the gym more, eat better, or get more sleep, it's not always easy to stick with it 365 days a year. So today I'm at the Vega headquarters to learn about plant-based nutrition and tips to stick with our New Year's resolutions. Hi Jen, thank you so much for having me here today. So tell me, what are some vital foods to include in your diet to help curb cravings of sugar and snacks? That's a really great question. Honestly, one of my favorite things to do and incorporate into your diet is adding some protein and even a little bit of fiber. So that could be some trail mix, or you could even you know, add a little bit of your favorite nut butter to some sprouted whole grain toast. Maybe add a little bit of Himalayan sea salt on top. That's a really great snack as well. Okay, so how can you incorporate these foods into your diet in more of a convenient way? Say if you're always on the go. Honestly, go for a smoothie. It's just super simple to make, very fast. You mix it up, you take it on the road, and you get out the door. Is there a specific formula to follow to make the perfect smoothie? Oh, the perfect smoothie, there is no perfect smoothie. Honestly, you can make something that tastes like your favorite beverage that you would sip on the beach. You can make something that tastes like your favorite candy bar. You definitely want to add some um, non-dairy milk alternative, maybe even a little bit of non-dairy yogurt, some frozen fruit, and also a plant-based protein powder is a great way to keep you full for longer. Mm -hmm. 
big thank you Jen and the Vega team for having us here today to teach us about plant-based nutrition and how to really stick with our goals. For more recipes, go to the link below. And for City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Michelle Morton.